Hello, hello. It's me and I'm back for another demo. Um, just bear with me a second while I try and bring it up on screen here so I can see what I'm doing and make sure that everything is in focus and wait for a couple of people to join in as well. Oh, hey, Tanya. Hey, Susie. I can see there's a couple of you there. So um, just bear with me a second. I've got everything in screen. Awesome. So welcome back. Um, so this weekend, as most of you know, is um, it's part of the Great Australian Craft Show. Oh, hello, Miss Alison Bevers. I can see you. Um, yeah, Great Australian Craft Show is our online craft show for the weekend. And I am looking at doing a few little demos over the weekend. I'm doing eight in total. And you can watch them back at any time on my Facebook. Hey, Marianne, how are you, darling? Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you all about Lindy's Gang Sprays. Uh, I am the Australian Master Educator, which is a funny sort of name, um, for Lindy's and I've been working with them for quite a few years, teaching and demonstrating all around Australia and New Zealand and um, also in Phoenix, which was pretty cool, um, showing everyone how to use Lindy's, how to use them on your projects, how normal everyday people and crafters like us can incorporate them into our projects. Hey, Shelley, how are you, darling? Um, so what I'm going to do is talk you through the couple of different sorts of Lindy's and tell you about the Lindy sprays and explain why why they are so different and why. They so I have to apologize. I have to apologize if my internet is. Um, I can't hear you. Oh, can anybody else hear me? Susie's just commented that she can't hear me. Um, I'm hopefully, oh, okay. So hopefully the screen hasn't frozen. Can anybody see me? Oh my gosh. Can anybody see me? Anybody hear me? Wow. Well, this is awkward. Mariana, how are you, darling? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you can. All right. Um, you dropped out, but now I'm good. Okay, so I've just taken off of the Wi-Fi and I've just gone straight to phone data. So I'm down the back here in my studio um, and hopefully we are all good. How are you, Gigi? God, I miss your face, girl. Okay, so back to the important stuff. What I'm doing today is I'm going to talk about the Lindy sprays and I'm going to show you how to use them, how to activate them, how to, what you can do with them and why you need them. Um, so I'm just going to pull my chair in. So Lindy's have been around since 1996. They are not a new company to the market. They are a family-based business out of Washington and they're amazing. They are just the best group of people and very, very true to their product as well. Home-based business in Washington, which means that they package everything themselves and create everything at home. This product is not made in China or anywhere else. They are a genuine, genuine product that, that, you know, customers come to them and ask for certain things. They listen to what you, they, what the customers want, which is so very, very important. Um, there are quite a few different products with Lindy's. They do the sprays, they do embossing powders, they do the magicals and the magical powders. Um, and they also do the squirts as well. So what I'm doing today is I'm just showing you the Lindy sprays and how to use those and the, and the three different sorts of sprays that are available on the market. Um, so when you buy Lindy's sprays, first and foremost, they come in an almost empty bottle. So 
people pick them up and think, oh, okay, now what do I do with it? So that is just the perfect amount of powder to get the perfect color. So this is a flat Fabio. So the flat Fabios are the flat color with no shimmer. So just a flat, plain, whoops, plain ink spray. There is also available the Starburst sprays. So Starburst sprays, as you can see from this one, are the ones with the beautiful shimmer through them. So they will quite often have a mica through them and they will have a, um, a, a beautiful shimmer that sits on top of your papers, which is absolutely gorgeous. So they also do, they're one of their original products, are the moon shadow sprays. So the moon shadow sprays are the walnut colored ink with a colored shimmer. So this color here is called Buccaneer Bay Blue. And as you can see, the shimmer is going to be blue. So these all need to be activated. So to activate the sprays, there are instructions on the sides here on the side here. Add warm water to the fill line, let sit for 10 minutes, shake before use. It's as simple as that. So the way that I do it here in Australia is before I spray, I use filtered tap water in my kettle and boil my kettle. Um, South Australia, Adelaide especially, has got the worst water. We are not known for our water at all. So filtered tap water, I then boil it in the kettle and bring it back down to room temperature. So boiling it in the kettle for me just kind of takes out some of those impurities. Um, that's what works. When I'm traveling and doing classes, I will quite often use um, the ironing water. What is that called? The demineralized water that you buy from the supermarket. I boil that in the kettle, bring it down to room temperature. So while that's cooling, I take my lid off and give it a bit of a tap in here. So what happens is it's taking the all the ink or sorry all the powder that might have built up in the nozzle while traveling so i just give that a little bit of a shake in there i then fill it to the fill line which is on the side so all of the bottles will have a, a mark on the side here fill it give it a shake and let it sit for 10 minutes it's like jelly crystals all of these awesome little crystals in the bottom here have to dissolve for the magic to happen it's that simple um yeah let it sit for 10 minutes and then you are good to go so there are heaps of colors in the range you can buy them as individual bottles like this or you can buy them in a set so the two sets that i have in stock at the moment um, are the victorian bouquet so this has got a set of five in here and then i've got a set of the moon shadow sprays as well so currently the individual bottles um, sell for $8 each, but because we've got 15% off online this weekend, they're now down to $6.80 each, which is a bit of a bargain. And the sets are normally $36 and they are out for $30.60. Bargain. So what I'm going to do is I've got a series of colors here in front of me and I want to show you how to use them and what you can do with them. So I'm just going to be demonstrating a few different things. The, this is Mango Mania, Hibiscus Rose and Caribbean Cruise. These are three flat Fabios and I know that they're flat Fabios because it says on the front flat Fabio spray and these are the ones without the shimmer. So when I am spraying, I've just got some index cards here. When I am spraying, I give it a little shake backwards and forwards and just go straight on. So if I was to go straight on like that, then I'm going to get a circle because what happens is the nozzle is shaped like a circle. So obviously, that's not as visually pleasing unless you're going for that sort of look. So what I'm going to do is I like to go backwards and forwards like so. And what happens there is like 
if you're putting hairspray on your hair, you don't do it in just one spot. You move it. So as you are moving it, you need to push your nozzle and go from there. If I want to add a second colour, so this is the hibiscus rose, same thing. While it's wet, those colours can overlap and I've got two super bright, punchy colours there on my page. Definitely the trick is to go backwards and forwards to get a really punchy colour like that. So this will dry up this is not on any special paper. You can see these are just index cards. On watercolour paper, it'll be a lot more fluid, but on here, it's soaking in quite nicely. Um, the, the Lindy sprays are a pigment and they are a dye. So the pigment means that they are full of colour and the dye means that they are permanent. So you can see in the background, um, my workspace is actually a puppy training pad rather than using... Um, Paper, paper towel, I've gone for something super absorbent because I know I'm going to overspray. So this one is the Caribbean Crew, a Caribbean Blue. So this is a super bright colour. So backwards and forwards, just like that. And that colour's getting in there lovely. So if I want to add a second colour, I'm going to add the Hibiscus Rose straight over the top and the colours layer up beautifully. And while that is wet, I can move it around and that will dry up a treat. So you can see that those colours, is, it's full of pigment. Um, and, and being a dye, it's going to stain the paper. It's going to dye the paper. So that is the really cool thing about those. Um, I'm just going to pop that one aside. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm just gonna pop those there is the starburst sprays so the starburst sprays are the ones full of shimmer so i have got here tibetan poppy teal prima donna purple california poppy gold and high maintenance magenta i love the names and that just rocks my world there's the best names with the lindy sprays so these have all been activated um, warm water up to the fill line and you can see all that goodness all of that shimmer powder all that beautiful shimmer is sitting in the bottom here how do I know that these are a shimmer spray they say starburst spray across the front here in just under the label so I like to move them all backwards and forwards like that no there's no magic way to shake them um, this is what works for me. I just like this backwards and forwards sort of motion. Um, okay, so let's do some spraying with these and we'll see if we can pick up some of that shimmer. So Tibetan Poppy Teal. Anyone who's done any classes with me will know that this is my go-to colour. Love it. So exactly the same process, straight across. And what's happening is that colour is sitting on top of the paper but the shimmer, and as it dries, the shimmer is going to sit beautifully on the top as well. So if I want to add a second colour, so this is the high maintenance magenta. Uh, magenta. And of course, these two colours, I should have picked up one with a bit of colour in it. That would have been the obvious thing. These two colours here, I know are going to be visually pleasing because they're alongside each other on the colour wheel. But the shimmer on that is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna put that aside to dry and then come back to it later. But you can see just doing that movement is giving you a really nice smooth finish. Right, pop that aside. So a lot of people ask what happens, how do I, how do you spray without getting the, getting it splotchy? Um, how do you avoid the splotchy? It's all about the confidence of pushing this nozzle down. If I was to hesitate, it does what I call an ink fart. I know it's not a very pleasant name, but it gives you this sort of spray. And a lot of people say, oh, I hate this look. I don't love it at all. If you spray confidently and just go in there, and spray 
then you're going to get something that is consistent and smooth. Moving it around your page also makes a big difference to how it looks. Um, so that, yeah, will definitely work. So I've got California Poppy Gold here. Oops, okay, my nozzle stopped spraying. Okay, what do I do? The mica is gonna sit in this little bit here. So I just take off, get my finger on it, or get a pin and unblock it. And it's that simple, okay? If it is truly blocked, boil some water in the kettle and just drop your nozzle into a coffee cup and just let it soak for 10 minutes and then get your lips over that bit and blow it out. <laughs> Not very pleasant, I know, but it works and it unblocks it for you. Lindy's have got a patent on their sprays that they're not gonna block up. So um, make it work for you. Stop and use a little bit of common sense on how I can get that to unblock. So that is what, that's the Starburst sprays and the Flat Fabio sprays. The last out of the series, I'm just gonna pop those aside. The last out of the series is the Moon Shadow Mist. When people buy these ones, they tend to freak out. Here's the good stuff in the bottom. Here's all my shimmer. So this color is Tawny Turquoise, and Tawny Turquoise is the color of the shimmer. So the Moon Shadow Sprays are the ones that have got that beautiful vintage look. So the magic happens when they dry. So if I have got in front of me plain piece of white, give it a good shake. I have to get all of that good stuff up off the bottom. And I go backwards and forwards. Here's that beautiful walnut sepia colored mist. But what's going to happen when it dries, the shimmer is going to be this beautiful turquoise that's in the label, okay? So it's not going to show up on camera at the moment. But what I will do in a moment is I'll show you a, a background that I've done. And hopefully that will show up on screen. Let me just wipe my hands. This is a background that I have created using moon shadow sprays in two colours. Buccaneer Bay Blue, which is this, this first one that I showed you. And then the... Oh... Possibly the Treasure Island Aqua or the Tur Tawny Turquoise. And can you see that that beautiful walnut is here, but the shimmer is showing up, pooling in and around my stenciled background. Okay? So this is a scrapbook page that I started doing, but then I absolutely fell in love with it and I just couldn't put a photo on it. So I just left it like this. Um, but this is a really good example of what the moon shadow sprays look like. So there's a huge range of colors in the moon shadow sprays. Um, I've got, I think, one, I've got about seven or eight of them in stock, and there is a great range. But the color of the spray is going to be brown, and the shimmer that sits on top when it dries is going to be blue or turquoise or red or mulberry. Moonlit mulberry is just divine. There's beautiful violet color. You can also enhance these. I can add some Tibetan poppy teal to it in a light spray and that is going to make it look even better. Okay, so as that's drying up, I'll um, come back to it in a minute and show you. Um, there are some amazing colours in the in the Lindy's as well. So this is an iridescent copper and you can see how awesome that copper colour is. And I'll give that a little spray on my index card here. Give it a little backwards and forwards shake. And the copper when this dries is amazing. Um, Open Arms Amethyst is another beautiful purple. And if I mix this with this beautiful copper... Now, the other thing is, another reason why sometimes they don't spray is because the nozzle inside it might not have access to the water. It's like when you spray anything or you use a ballpoint pen. It doesn't work when you write on a wall 
because the ink runs out of the nozzle. So sometimes you do need to pick it up and spray it that way. So this is a copper and a purple together and that is drying up absolutely beautiful. Um, so you can mix colours together. So this is going to have a beautiful copper shimmer to it and this one has got a lovely purplish sort of tinge. So those two colours together are just amazing. So I pop that aside. Oh God, I'm running out of room here. Um, anyone who has done an order with me over the last couple of weeks, first of all, thank you for your order. But you would have received a lovely little thank you card in with it. Um, I'm grateful for everybody's business and everyone loves to receive something in the post. But what I do is I will hand make a lovely little thank you card. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer on these babies. I'm just going to come up to camera. So these are the index cards and I will spray, spray them first in a couple of colours and then stamp them. Okay, so there's a couple of colours here. This is the new batch that I created yesterday. Um, so this has got a lovely gold at the bottom and then a teal at the top. Whoops, and I've picked up a couple there. And I don't know if you can see that beautiful shimmer of the, I think the colour is Cal uh, Californian poppy gold over the top of that with some splatters of red. So that just looks amazing. So, um, if you place an order, you'll get one of these with um, a handwritten note on the back. So um, give you a bit of an idea. What else can you do with them? I've got some white flowers here. I can spray my white flowers to suit. So I'll pick up the Prima Donna Purple and to spray a flower, I'm holding the stem. Bam. Like seriously, did I make that look hard? I hope not. A um, couple of colours together. But that shimmer, when that dries, the shimmer is going to sit on top of the flower and just look amazing. So really, really nice. What else can I show you? Here's a couple of, here's a layout, another background that I've done using a colour called Sweet Violet Purple Teal and Witch's Potion Purple. So two beautiful shades of uh, purple, both with coloured undertones in the shimmer so you, I don't know if it's showing up on camera the shimmer is set has settled all in around this beautiful modeling paste and just the stenciled background so that's just spraying it straight on nice and easy um, what I'll do now is I'll show you how to use a stencil with the sprays on a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock so this is just plain um, inexpensive Kaiser Craft cardstock, nothing fancy at all. With a stencil girl stencil, and when you're spraying a stenciled image, a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. If it is a 12 by 12 stencil, it's not a problem because it will go right to the edge. With the stencil girl stencils, which are my favourite ones, they um, they are nine by twelve, so therefore they've got this beautiful border on the side. And they're fantastic for art journaling but for scrapbooking it makes it a little bit difficult so i tend to do it in a couple of different batches and i will offset it on the side for today's purposes i'm just going to um, show you how to do it here so i'm going to use open arms amethyst and I might also add a flat Fabio. So I'm going to use the um, hibiscus rose in my background and the open arms amethyst. The trick with doing this is to make a decision and get it done. The more you hesitate, the worse it kind of looks. So I'm a confident scrapbooker. I'm one of these people who goes, you know what, it's just paper. How bad can it go? If I stuff it up, that's okay because I, I've, I've learned that I'm not, A, not going to do that again. But secondly, I know that um, yeah, it's just a bit of paper. It's no big drama. So hibiscus rose, straight down. And I'm just putting it on backwards and forwards and I'm pumping that spray as I go. 
What I want to do now is I'm going to add the open arms amethyst on the bottom. And overlap it just a little over that one there. And I've really, really wet that. And I'm going for a really saturated sort of look. But there it is. So that's peeled off beautifully. Yeah, look at that. But my stencil has got potential as well. So now I can grab my bit of paper, flip it over, drop it on there. I've got a roll of paper towel somewhere. Over here, waste not, want not. Or you could flip that into your art journal. Roll some paper towel on there just for pressure. And if I peel that off, yeah, actually, I almost like that better than my first one. But I really love that effect. So that's going, the shimmer's going to settle on top as well. And I could probably do another one if I wanted. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty great. So I'll pop that aside. Um, if you're wanting to use a spray to get a lovely background, like cover your entire background, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm just going to put a bit of extra paper towel down because... Obviously, this is making a heck of a mess today. Um, this is just plain white cardstock again. But what I want to do is I want to show you that you can also spray it down with some water to help a drip, get a drip going. So if I'm just going to spray my Tibetan poppy teal all the way across my page, so all the way across the top, then while it is wet, I can add a little water and force a drip. I can add a shimmer to it. So this one is the purple, oh baby. And you can tell that I didn't pump that properly and it just kind of did the little ink fart that I talked about before. Um, and I can move it back and forwards and drip that down my page. If I want to add more to it, I can. If I really want to dilute this line, because it hasn't soaked into my cardstock yet, I can spray that down. Now, what's happening is the colour's going to stay on the paper because it's permanent. It's a dye. It has dyed the paper and not... It's not a watercolour. So it's, it's on there for good. If I had clean fingers, it wouldn't have left those gross marks on the side, but you kind of get the picture. Um, so you can see how amazing, while it is wet, you can tone those colours down. Um, so I can build on that. I can stamp on that. I can stencil over the top of it. It's going um, it's, it's to work fantastic because it has dyed the paper. Um, so that is... Oh, where can I put that? Oh, now I've run out of room completely. Hang on. Sorry. Um... That's a bit of an idea on the Lindy's sprays. So flat Fabios, no shimmer. Starburst, shimmer. And then there's the moon shadow sprays. So um, I'm just going to... Where's my baby wipes? Gone. Okay. Oh, no, here. They're in front of me. Um, there's a couple of projects here in front of me that I'd like to show you that I have made using the Lindy sprays. Um, something else I'll mention as well is if you have sprays at home that are blocked up, first of all, try the trick of taking the nozzle off, putting it in a hot cup of water and, um, and, and then popping your nozzle back on. See if you can clear out some of that mica. That one's nearly dry, but you can see some of that shimmer. Um, but the other thing is it's still got product in the bottle. So therefore you can still take the nozzle off, dip your paintbrush into it and use it. Um, the Lindy sprays will not go off either. Some people have asked me, do they go off? No, it's all based on the water that you put into the bottle. If your water is going to go off, then yeah, of course it's, it's going to go off, but it shouldn't. Um, this is a project I did for Lindy's a little while ago and there's a tutorial on it on my blog. So I've used a few 
different colors as you can see to create a bit of a color wheel and some beautiful faces in that photo look at that um but the cool thing about this is 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 you can see that the shimmer is on there as well it's, that blue is amazing um but not all of them are shimmer so this one is a flat fabio that's a flat fabio that's a flat one that's a flat one that's a flat one that's luscious lime mango mania um hibiscus rose so there's some beautiful colors that you can create to go on scrapbook pages um this is a canvas that i created a couple of years ago uh using modeling paste in the background i've colored my flowers i've colored my chipboard all sprays in the background so this is using a combination of blues and greens um and I love being able to dye my flowers to match my projects. Uh, this has been hanging up on the wall in my studio and it still has the shimmer on it and it's been there for quite a few years. And I'm just wondering if there was a date on the back, but there's not. Um, so you can see that that gorgeous shimmer is still hanging around. And last of all, Here's an art journal page, and this page is a lot, but you can use it in your art journals as well. So I've got some stenciling across the middle, um, and you can see that I've allowed it to drip down and then drip up through my page, and the colours are super bright and intense. So you can see here that I've gone with reds and oranges and intensified through the middle with black lindies. So the colours can look really really amazing um all projects really you've got no reason why you can't try it on lots of different things um, so i'm just reaching back over and finding some of these projects some of these that i sprayed earlier so this is the flat hibiscus rose and mango mania so you can see that that's um dried up quite well and the Hibiscus Rose Caribbean Cruise combination there on that little index card. Um, oh, and these ones haven't quite dried yet. Oh, look, let's just help that process out. There we go. Um, purple, teal, and the shimmer is sitting there that is definitely starting to come out. Oh, all right. So this one is... This is the one that I did with the moon shadow sprays and then put a little teal shimmer over the top. So you can see, can you see? Yeah, you can. Yeah, how gorgeous is that, hey? So that shimmer's sitting on top and then that one's not dry either. Just flip that over. So the colours mix beautifully. And this one has got an absolutely gorgeous shimmer over the top. So couple of things to remember when you are using any sort of sprays but Lindy's in particular is go with you know use use your nozzle think about how your nozzle is going to work you want to go backwards and forwards and give it a confident pump of color rather than a hesitant um you've got absolutely nothing to lose by trying something new so get in there and spray like you mean it backwards and forwards give yourself a drop sheet clear off your area around you um, puppy training pads from Kmart brilliant there you go look at that and then you can mix the colors together they look amazing um, the intensity is fantastic and that's what I absolutely love about Lindy's they don't mess around with the colors how do you stop it splattering like, how do you stop it from doing that? Commit to it. Spray it like you mean it. Own your project. Own your artwork. Create with some confidence and you'll be good to go. So just to finish off, um, this is my last live for the day. Um, but 15% off all Lindy's products this weekend. So 15% off sprays the spray sets, also the Lindy's Magicals, also the embossing powders, um, also the squirts, um, which are actually uh, in the clearance section at the moment, so they're cheaper again. 
Um, I've also got 15% off stamps and stamps and stencils. Also got 15% off adhesives, um, Dina Wakeley products, and all paper pads. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au and buy all the things, girls and boys. Um, look, see, now I just want to make pretty things all afternoon and, and do some cool stuff. Like, what was that one? Incandescent copper with the Mango Mania. Yeah, loving it. So that's it from me today. Um, <laughs> and, oh, quick question. People always say, how do you get your hands clean? You wash them. I know, but it is a stain, so it will stain your hands. Um, wash your hair, wash the cat, wash the dishes, wash your husband. Um, give him a scrub, you'll be good to go. Um, unless you're performing brain surgery this afternoon. Really? It's it's creative. It's supposed to be fun. Or you could wear some gloves and toughen up a bit. So um, <laughs> I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I will be back tomorrow morning doing a... Oh, I'm going to do a scrapbook page tomorrow. Um, using... Oh, yeah, live. Using stamps and Lindy's Magical. So you're going to love that. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.